Welcome back for lesson two of Poetry Week, friends. Last time we read and sang our poem, Little Penguin, together and talked about action words. Those are things that you can do, like run or swim or slide or splash or eat or dance. So many verbs to do. Penguins love to be active, friends. Today we're going to practice sorting action words, things that penguins can do, with nouns, things that penguins have. But before we do that, let's review our poem together, Little Penguin. Here it is. Whoop. <laughs> it's falling. All right, friends, why don't we sing it? together. I'm going to turn around to the piano and you can say or sing it with me. Let's start. Little penguin sliding by. He swims fast but cannot fly. Little penguin black and white. Slip, slide, splash. He's out of sight. <laughs> All right, friends. Thank you for singing or saying that poem with me. Now, before we start sorting, let's see if we can find some of the action verbs in this poem. What are some of the things the penguin does? Hmm, he slides. That's something you can do sliding on the ice. He slides. He also, Swims. Swim is a verb. And he slips. Slipping is something penguins can do. He also splashes in the water. All right, friends, those are a few of action verbs that penguins can do. Now I have a box of words in here with me and I want us to look at each word and decide is that something that penguins have, a noun, a thing, or is it something that penguins can do, a verb, an action word. Let's look at two examples first. Penguins have feathers. Feathers are things that penguins have all over their body. Remember, they have black feathers on their back and white feathers on their tummies. Penguins have feathers. Penguins can waddle. Waddle is an action verb. It's something that penguins can do. Can you waddle like a penguin? Let's see. Good job. We can check to see if our answer is correct by reading it as a sentence and asking, does that make sense? Let's try. Penguins can waddle. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Penguins can waddle. All right, friends, let's look at some of these words in our box. I'm gonna shake it. Oh, here we go. Webbed feet. Can penguins webbed feet? No, that's not an action word. That's something that penguins have, a thing, a noun. Penguins have webbed feet. That sentence makes sense. Awesome. Let's look at our next word. Swim. Is that something that penguins can do? Yes, so we'll put it with our verbs. Penguins can swim. Let's look at the next one. <gasps> flippers. Can you guess where flippers goes? If you said on the have side, you are right. Penguins have Flippers, those are things that penguins have that help them swim, right? They look like arms or wings. 
flippers. Penguins have flippers. Okay, let's look at the next one. Slide. Remember, this was one of the verbs in our poem. Little penguin sliding by. So slide is an action word. Penguins can slide. All right. Let's see what the next one is. Catch fish. Can penguins catch fish? Yes, that is something penguins can do. Penguins can catch fish. All right, let's look at the next one. Beaks. Can penguins beaks? No, that doesn't make sense. Beaks are something penguins have. They're a thing that looks like a nose that they eat with. Penguins have beaks. All right, two more. Let's look at our next word. Pouches. What do you think? Would we say penguins have pouches or penguins can pouches? Penguins have pouches. Good job. Okay, last word, lay eggs. Can penguins lay eggs? They can. Birds can lay eggs. That is something they do. So it goes on the action verb side. All right, let's read each side together as a sentence. Penguins have feathers, webbed feet, flippers, beaks and pouches. That's our first sentence. Let's look at the next one and list our verbs. Penguins can waddle, swim, slide, catch fish, and lay eggs. Great job sorting nouns and verbs with me, friend. I have loved Poetry Week with you and I can't wait to do more poetry and more word work together this week. All right, see you then, bye-bye.